By the start of April last year, there had been five homicides in York, with four in March 2022 alone. So far this year, the city has seen just two homicides. City and police officials tell me it's a sign that their initiatives are working. They also hope a change in Article 145 of city code will keep the progress going in the right direction. Changes are coming to the York City Police Department. It's something we've been working on for about a year and a half. In March, the York City Council voted unanimously to amend Article 145 of York's codified ordinances, removing language capping the number of officers in the department at 100. It uh, removes a lot of barriers for us in the, for, you know, in the future, like if the next mayor or whoever uh, comes in, um, they want to give us 120 cops. They can have the freedom to do that as long as you know it's in the budget and council's on board. Lentz says the department currently has 107 officers because of outside funding, a stressor that is erased with this change. And it, it eliminates us having to try to, to go out and find external funding, you know, apply for grants to, to be able to have, uh, you know, officers greater than, you know, 100. A budging budget has been a hurdle for years and something considered by city officials. It's a matter of whether or not we can afford police officers in the future um, and it not be a tax burden on the city of York and our citizens. City Council President Sandy Walker says police and fire take up a third of York's budget, with YCPD taking up the majority of that third. She adds that additional officers are funded through 2026, though the conversation will come up again. It's going to take a lot of work, and administration is going to have to make sure that they can cover the additional officers after 2026 and be able to present that information to council. In the meantime, the change gives more flexibility for the department. We're really excited about what the, what the future looks like as far as the staffing of the agency. Captain Lynn says the department currently has 10 officers in the academy set to graduate in July. However, those officers won't be boots on the ground until the end of the year. Now, with the prospect of additional officers, Lynn says the department hopes to increase staffing on the violence intervention unit and bring on extra detectives. In the studio, Logan Perrone, Fox 43 News.